there she is when I finished multiplying. is nice and tight. I think it was about 1.5 mil the mouth opening in the end. It could have actually gone a little bit smaller than that. But it's pretty fine so I'm fairly happy with that. So all in all, yeah, very pleased. Very pleased with it. So here's the finished plane. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, and f just for anybody that doesn't know how to set up a mitre plane, so it's um, bevel up on the blade, and that goes in, and then the wedge follows in afterwards. And uh, the wedges, you only need to push them in hand tight, you don't need to hammer the wedge in, you shouldn't need to anyway. Um, and then any adjustment to the blade is done with a small um, hammer, a small mallet. So depth adjustment is done um, by hitting the back of the iron. Um, and lateral adjustment again is you can either do it by hand or you can do fine adjustments with, uh, with the mallet just on the back of the plane. And the same if you want to decrease uh, depth of cut. You can hit the uh, snake on the back there. And then once you've got it, so I, I do it by feel. So that's a fairly fine cut and then once you're there you can just push the wedge in just to seat it and that should be ready to go. So I've got a piece of um, walnut here. So I'm just going to try playing in this. And it's just gives such a lovely cut this, uh, this plane. I'm really impressed with it, with just how nicely it cuts. That's beautiful. And um, the weight of this plane as well, because it's quite a heavy plane compared to uh, a standard block plane. Um, the, the added weight really gives it a nice feel. Cutting this um, this walnut beautifully, really nice, really nice fine shavings. And so if you need to uh, decrease or increase depth of cut, just tap on the blade. You get some really fine shavings. can as well as if you uh, want to take a very fine shaving you will find that just pushing on the wedge will drive the uh, blade through a little bit more it's just uh, taking an incredibly fine shaving Really, really nice. And this um, this walnut has actually got a bit of cross grain in it, which you often find planing with a standard um, smoothing plane with a bed angle of 45 degrees will often give you tear out. But because the um, the blade angle on this, the bedding angle on this, I can't remember. I think it was about 24 degrees. Check my uh, drawing. Look. Yeah, 24 degrees. And because of that low angle, it just gives a really nice cut with no tear out. Underneath, if I play against the grain, how badly it will tear out.
even planing against the grain. Zero tear out. That's the depth of cut slightly. Even against the grain, that's given a lovely finish. And I always carry, um, this is a uh, paraffin wax. Um, to lubricate the sole, it just helps the blade, helps the uh, plane to glide along. And it makes a huge difference. Uh, some people like to use a, an oiled rag, um, but I prefer the paraffin wax because sometimes the oil can penetrate into the wood um, and it can affect uh, when you come to finish, it can affect the finish. So I always use uh, paraffin wax. But the finish I'm getting from this plane is absolutely amazing. I'm really, really pleased with it in comparison to a, that's a record block plane. So you can see the size difference here. But the weight difference is no comparison. It's at least two or three times the, uh, the weight of this block plane. Just for a comparison here, this block plane is sharp, equally as sharp as the uh, miter plane. Right, all right, so it should give a nice cut, but it's yeah, it's getting a lot of tear out with that. And I've set the um, set the mouth quite small as well. Because you on these block planes, you have adjustable mouths. The finer you can set the mouth, it should aid in tear out, it should help to prevent the tear out. Bit of paraffin wax on. Straight away. See how much easier it is to push through, through the wood. But yeah, I mean it's cutting, it's cutting nicely, but it is tearing the grain out. But I am, I am going against the grain here. But when you compare it to the, to the motor plane, I mean it's absolutely amazing. Lovely, no tear out at all. I'll flip it around and play it with the grain. Absolutely lovely, and the finish there. It just you don't even need to sand it. You could go straight to uh, straight to applying a finish to that to that plain surface. It's that that smooth and that nice. I could play in that all day. It's beautiful. So there it is, one finished mitre plane. So I hope you, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, series. I've, I've certainly enjoyed making it. It's been a lot of hard work, um, but I think the end result is well worth the effort. <laughs>